If you already know one programming language or maybe two languages, is there a benefit to learning a second, third, or fourth language? That's what I want to talk about in this video, the five reasons you should consider learning a new programming language in 2020. I'm Joel, creator of this YouTube channel and Pixelmerp.com. I've spent the better part of the last decade being a full-time freelance web developer. And my goal is to help people learn how to code and how to create full-featured functional websites. Now before we start, if you are brand new to coding, then my recommendation is to really dive deep into one language. Your first language is typically going to be the hardest one that you learn because you're going to have to learn how to work with different developer type tools. Maybe you've never worked with the text editor maybe you do not understand how to browse the developer tools work and maybe you never really thought about the concept of thinking like a programmer so if that's you if you're brand new to coding then focus on just one language but now if you're an intermediate or advanced coder then you may want to consider learning another programming language and there's a lot of reasons for this there's a lot of benefits to knowing more than one or two languages number one having a bird's eye view being able to see the bigger picture if all you do is work with one programming language whether it's for the front end or the back end. You may not fully grasp how the final product or the final application or website is supposed to look and feel and function. Especially with web development, there can be a big disconnect when it comes to the front end and the back end. As a back end developer, you're focused mostly on the functionality of a website. What's the capability of that site? How does it handle form processing? How does it handle security, validation, and sanitization? Whereas on the front end, you're thinking about the user experience, the user interface, you're looking to design the front end of the site itself to make it visually appealing. So if you're mostly focused on the back end, then you might want to consider learning a front end language. Maybe learn a little bit more about CSS or maybe learn a little bit more JavaScript. Now, if you're a front end designer or developer, you may want to learn about the back end itself. If you know JavaScript, that's kind of easier to do since you'll be able to pick up Node.js a lot easier. Or maybe you want to learn Python or PHP since they're both widely used as a server-side coding language. Either way, being able to have a bigger picture or bird's eye view of the final product is a great way to make sure that either you can do the job yourself, or if you're working with a team of developers, that you have a better understanding of what they're going to be expecting in terms of your work product itself. And to add to that, you might be thinking about programming paradigms. As an advanced coder, this is something you're going to be brushing up against often. Do you consider yourself more of an OOP developer, an object-oriented programming developer, or are you really more focused on functional programming or procedural programming? Now, some languages are designed with one paradigm in mind, while others, you can pretty much incorporate any one of those styles. By learning a new language, you might be able to force yourself to learn a new programming paradigm. And let me tell you, that's going to be important if you want to master your craft. Number two, you have to be ready to pivot. You have to be able to adapt to any situation that's coming before you. The world is changing at a rapid pace. Technology is changing pretty much day by day. Learning a new programming language will make it easier for you to pivot when you need to. What if you get a new job? What if the job you currently have all of a sudden needs a developer that knows a specific programming language that maybe nobody else in the company knows? What if the language you've been coding with for the past few years is no longer the best language to get the job done. Knowing another language can be a lifesaver. And one thing you're going to notice, it's a lot easier to learn another language once you've already learned several languages. Number three, how big is your toolbox? If all you have is a hammer, then everything's going to look like a nail. By knowing more than one coding language, you'll be able to determine which language is best suited for the job you're being asked to do. Yeah, there might be a language that can be more versatile and more general purpose. But in my experience, it's best to stick to a language that's pretty much built for a specific task. If you're doing web development, there's a specific group of languages you're going to want to focus on. If you're doing data science or machine learning or artificial intelligence, there's another group of languages that are better suited for that job. It's a good idea to use the best tool for the job that you're being asked to do. Number four, learning another coding language puts you on the path to becoming a full stack developer. Now think about it. Why did you want 
to get started with code to begin with. For the most part, it's because you want it to be a little bit more independent. You want to be able to have greater control of your time, and you want to be able to keep up with the times. Now, for me in particular, being a freelancer, it's important that I know the entire stack that I'm working with. From HTML to CSS to JavaScript to PHP to MySQL to Linux, and now I'm using Python more and more on a day-to-day -day basis. It enables me to get my job done a lot quicker. Now, if you're working for a small to medium-sized company, as a full-stack developer, you'll be able to do the job of several other coders. This will make you more valuable because think about it, as an employer, is it financially better to hire one developer that can take care of multiple languages or is it better to hire multiple developers, one for each specific language? Financially, it's better to hire one developer. So that's where knowing more than one language is going to help you along the way. Now that being said, larger companies like to have developers who specialize in one particular language. And the reason for that is because they like to have an assembly line approach. They'll have one developer working on one part of an application, they have another developer working on another part, and somewhere along the lines, the project manager will make sure everything works well together. But now the project manager will probably have to have a general understanding of how the languages work together. So even then, being a full stack is helpful. Number five, leveling up your skills. As a coder, let's face it, you're going to be spending a lot of time brushing up on your coding skills of a particular language. Languages change, they evolve. Evolve. They function differently as time goes by. Some functions or some classes will become deprecated or obsolete, while new functions will be introduced. So you're going to have to spend a lot of time making sure you're staying on top of your coding language. So adding a second or third coding language might seem like more of a burden. But being able to see the bigger picture, being able to pivot when needed, and being adaptable, having a larger tool set of programming languages that you can work with, and becoming a full stack is definitely going to be important for you. You're also going to improve your your critical thinking and problem solving skills, which as a developer, that's extremely important to do. Now, one added benefit is that if you've been working with one programming language for an extended period of time, you might feel like you've mastered it, you might feel like you're kind of stuck in a rut, and you might not be clear on how you can take your coding skills to the next level. By learning a new programming language, you can then re-motivate yourself and get yourself back to the point of when you first started. That excitement, that feeling you had at the very beginning where you wanted to learn how to do a specific task where you wanted to see if you can do something that you've never done before. So that's it. That's five reasons you should learn a new coding language in 2020. If this is your first time here, thank you for joining us. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification icon. If you have any thoughts, ideas, or comments, leave them down below and I will see you in the next video. Happy coding.